This is code.org, and this program is supposed to paint the street while the painter object has paint in their bucket, but there it has an error. It does. I want to hit run. Oh, wait. Oh, it's one of these guys. Okay. Which of the following do you think is the cause of the error? All right. So let's take a look what we before. Let's see what's happening here. So first we create a my painter plus object. Painter plus class is here and it looks good. Keep in mind, Painter Plus extends Painter, so Painter can Plus can do everything Painter can do, like move and all of that. Turn left. Okay, so we start by turning right. Yep, that method's right here. We should be able to turn right, which is turning left three times. Cool. And now while, or as long as, this new thing, as long as my Painter Plus, our object, can move north, huh, my Painter Plus move north. Okay interesting well let me magic over is this something can we do can move is that part of painter and we've seen this a few times hopefully painter right uh can move Ooh, look there is a parameter so that does look legitimate it looks like can move for the painter class we can use a direction and since painter plus has everything painter does okay can move north yep that seems right it's in it quotes like a string so as long as my painter can move north, my painter dot move. Okay. Wait a minute. Huh. Well, I don't think that's ever going to run, because if we start up here at the top, which we always have, we turn right. That doesn't really matter. We're facing down. But could we move north right then? No. That would be false, right? If we're standing here, I don't care if we're facing this way. North is that way. So could we move north? That's false. But I that won't cause an error. My painter plus turn left. All right, so then we'll turn left. Fine. So we turn right and then we turn left. So we're basically, we're facing the same direction we started in. As long as my painter has paint, right? So while my painter has paint, do we have any paint? We, we don't have any paint. So nothing happens. Well, that's odd. Okay, so if statement on 13, if is on bucket, that won't matter because it's never even going to run, guys, right? Because can we move north if we start up here? No, we'll never be able to move north, so that whole loop won't run. So who cares about this line? The wall loop on 22 should be an if statement. If the painter has paint, paint white, move forward. Well, at that point, we're still up here because this can't run. Once we turn left, like we said, we're facing this way. That's not going to work. What? All right. So if doesn't matter, this would still be false. We never got the paint to begin with. That doesn't matter at all. There's an infinite loop on line 14. An infinite loop, guys, means it will repeat forever. So if this said painter uh, doesn't have paint or something, that's always true, right? Uh, if this said painter doesn't have paint or if you're watching a video, right? This is true for as long as that's occurring. So an infinite loop means it will never stop going, right? So if today is a day during the year, then the code will just keep repeating. This isn't going to be infinite because this isn't always true. This isn't true from the beginning. The wall loop on line 10 is initially false. Yeah, it's completely false. That is the issue, right, guys? Because if this is false from the get-go, then ours is never going to move, right? The painter's never going to do a thing because they're not going to go down there. They're not going to get the paint. If they don't get the paint, the only thing that happens is we turn right, we turn left, and this doesn't run. So it must be D. It's preventing anything from really happening. Yep. Cool. Onward.